today I'm going to pick on somebody who I don't usually pick on. He's, he's a pretty darn good investor. Now he plays the government game and I know he's not a, uh, just a complete free market kind of guy. I know that, but Warren Buffett has done pretty well for himself. And yes, he plays the system. I get it. I get it. I get it. But he said something that was so ridiculous, so illogical. And since I'm into reason and logic, I thought, hey, maybe I ought to point this out, see if any of y'all saw this. So he was talking, uh, Warren Buffett was talking in the uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, meeting, uh, investors meeting, and the topic came up of Bitcoin. And so he started talking about it and he gave this example that he, he appeared to be sober otherwise, but it was really silly. This is what he said. He said, let's imagine everybody in this room here has owns 100% of the farmland in the country. And you guys got together and you said, hey, we'll sell it to you, Warren, for $25 billion. 1% of it for $25 billion. And Warren says, yep. He said, I'd write a check for $25 billion this afternoon for... 1% of all farmland. And he says, well, what if you guys had, uh, you, everybody in this room had 100% of the apartment complexes or, or the apartment rental apartments in the country? And you offered to sell me 1% of those for 25 billion. He said, I'd write you a check this afternoon. And he said, if everybody in this audience though, in this group had all of the Bitcoin in the world and you offered to sell me all of the Bitcoin in the world for $25, I wouldn't do it. Do you see what he did there? He completely changed the scenario. And he, he didn't even he didn't even point out that they're different classifications up to this point in the video. He had he didn't point that out. He basically was saying that that he's giving this example of things that are, are businesses, you know, owning apartments or owning uh, farmland, they'll produce things. And he says, so those things that produce something, they're worth investing in. Bitcoin is not worth investing in. And, and maybe it's not worth investing in. And I don't think anybody who uses Bitcoin or who did invest in it would say that it's a something that produces something of value. Like the, the purpose of Bitcoin is a medium of exchange. It's, it's a money for people who don't want to be involved in the Federal Reserve money that the U.S. government loves so much. And he made another argument. And I say he made another argument. I don't even know that it's an argument uh, so much as just a, 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 a complete demonstration of, of his lack of understanding of what decentralized cryptocurrency is. He said he, he held up a, a Federal Reserve note, I think a $20 bill, and he said, this is money. This is the only thing that is money, essentially. He said, do you think, he says, the the, the government, the, the U.S., is going to let me come along with the Berkshire coin or somebody else with their coin and just take over and have it be the new money? And of course, they're not going to do that. He doesn't understand the point of Bitcoin. That's the point. Governments and the people who run them, the, the central banks, would never want that to happen. They would never encourage it. They would never step down and say, oh, you're right. Let's let's do a, a type of currency that, that we don't control so, so that we can't have control over all the people. Of course, they're not going to go for that. The point is, for people who want to do things that they want to keep private, or maybe they're illegal. Like I, I know Christians who want to get Bibles into China. Well, you can't do it legally. And so that's, in their opinion, there are some laws that are bad laws, and they're willing to go against the law to get done what they, they think needs to be done. Maybe someone else has another thing they want to do. Maybe people just want privacy. Maybe people just want to be able to exchange money without having the government steal some. There are a lot of reasons why people might want to use decentralized cryptocurrencies. And Warren does not understand what they are. Now, I think he's looking in the long term. 
and I think he's basically saying that his company is not going to get into this. His investment funds, they're, they're not going to do this. I, I don't blame him. Like it's a, I don't even think it's an investment. It's a speculation at best. Some people who think that money is a necessary thing that will always be around. And people who think that the Federal Reserve and other central banks don't really have real money, it's a fiat kind of thing, they think, hey, human beings still need to transact like we have for 6,000 years or hundreds of thousands of years, whatever your worldview is. Maybe people are still going to want to transact with each other and not have the emperor, the king, the president, whomever, steal their money or know what they're doing. And sure enough, I think that there will be that need. And I'm not claiming that Bitcoin will be around in a year or five years or 50 years. It could be a horrible investment compared to farmland or apartments. But Mr. Buffett doesn't understand Bitcoin at all. He doesn't understand the, the reasoning behind it. Now, I know what many of you are thinking. <laughs> well, if, I'm, if I think it's so wonderful, why didn't I invest in it? Well, maybe because I was an idiot. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I did back in uh, 14, I think. I was at a anarchist convention in San Diego and uh, I, I bought a little bit and then I spent it there. I think I bought some colloidal silver making little thing and uh, a t-shirt, something like that. I, I blew it all. And now it would have probably been worth something. So yeah, I'm a fool. Maybe I shouldn't be defending cryptocurrency. Maybe I shouldn't be acting like I know what I'm doing uh, if I don't put my money where my mouth is. But um this is just something that I think we had to point out about the old man. He's a good investor. He's, he's done some great stuff, but he's dead wrong on Bitcoin.